for this problem. The table below shows the number of states registered with automatic weapons and the murder rate. X is thousands of automatic weapons and Y is murders per 100,000 residents. And they give you an equation for the trend line. Use this equation to answer the questions. How many murders per 100,000 residents can be expected in a state with 6.9 thousand automatic weapons? X is thousands of weapons, so 6.9 goes in for X. So if we look over here. In place of the X in the equation, we'd put the 6.9, and when you calculate it, you get 10.036. The next one says, how many murders per 100,000 residents can be expected with 2.8 thousand automatic weapons? So again, they're giving us the X value because that's the number of weapons. So then we take the equation and we plug in the 2.8 and then when you calculate it you get 6.592. Sometimes there'll be a few problems where they'll give you the Y. If you they give you how many murders there were per 100,000 residents, then you would solve for the X. So if they, I guess we could do an example. If they told us there was seven murders per 100,000 residents, then we'd put the seven in for the Y. Make these bigger. So seven would equal 0.84X plus 4.24. Then to solve it, we would have to get the 4.24 to the other side because you want to get the x term by itself. So we would subtract both sides by the 4.24. When we subtract those, 7 minus 4.24, we get 2.76 equals 0.84x. Next, um, to get x by itself, since we're multiplying by the 0.84, we would need to divide both sides by it. So if we take 2.76 and divide by 0.84, we get 3.29. So it would be 3.29 thousand automatic weapons. So sometimes they will give you the Y, but this one didn't. 